bad way to start a video. How's it going guys? It's K Cars and in today's video, I didn't want to discuss if I regret getting a callous exhaust for my 2016 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack Shaker or if I don't regret it. So I've been getting a few comments on some of my exhaust videos asking how I like the catalyst exhaust on this car and you know how I get through inspection and all that emission stuff. And I know a lot of people, that's one of the main things that holds people back from getting a catalyst exhaust is just the fact that it's hard to pass emissions inspections or you know, it's basically impossible to pass emissions inspections if you have those in your state. And it's also pretty difficult to pass safety inspections. Now, those two inspections are actually completely separate. Your safety inspection is just, you know, looking over the car, brakes, turn signals, horn, making sure your lights work, stuff like that. And then your emissions inspection has to do with your, you know, emissions. So if you don't have catalytic converters on your car, then you're not gonna be able to pass that emissions inspection. So that's the main kind of hurdle or disadvantage of having a catalyst exhaust is that you can't really pass your state's emissions inspection if you have that. And it's also pretty difficult to pass your state safety inspection as well. Now I've been lucky enough to have a inspection that doesn't actually require emissions testing. So all I have to do is have my safety inspection. And since this is a pretty new car, it's a 2016, they basically just look at it and make sure that the turn signals work, the lights work, um, I have proper tires with good enough tread, uh, just safety things like that. So if you're just getting a safety inspection and it's a pretty new car, then they're not really gonna pay too much attention to the exhaust in my experience. So that's kind of the main disadvantage of having a catalyst exhaust is just being able to pass those inspections if your state has those. Now, of course, obviously I do have a callous exhaust and I do wanna go over what exactly I have done to this car. So like I mentioned, it is a Dodge Challenger Scat Pack Shaker. It's a 2016. And the full exhaust on this car, I have Cooks, long tube headers, callous mid pipes, a mid muffler delete, and a stock cat back. So that's pretty much the whole entire exhaust system. So I wouldn't consider this to be completely straight piped. So I think there actually is a difference between being straight piped or completely catless. Now this car I would not consider straight piped because I still do have the resonators in the rear. Now straight piped in my opinion means no cats, no mufflers, no resonators, just literally straight through. So like I said, this car still has the resonators in the rear. So I would not consider this car to be completely straight piped. Now, of course, it is catalyst because it doesn't have catalytic converters. So now that we got all that out of the way, I told you guys what exhaust I actually have on this car. Let's actually talk about how I feel about the catalyst exhaust. So it's been about, I wanna say three or four years since I've had this exhaust system on the car. And ever since then, I've loved it so far. I haven't really had any issues with the car. My main issue that I have and something that everybody tells me about when they ride with me is the smell of the car, the smell of the exhaust, smell of gas, fuel, because that's what the catalytic converters kind of stop is that fuel smell, that gas smell, uh, basically just all that pollution that comes out of the engine. That's what the catalytic converters are supposed to stop. So of course, without the cats, you're gonna be getting that gas and fuel smell coming out of the exhaust. And in my opinion, definitely is something that you should consider before deciding whether or not to get a callous exhaust. Now for me personally, that gas smell didn't really give me too big of an issue. I didn't really mind the whole like fuel smell or gas smell coming out of the exhaust. You know, after three or four years of having an exhaust that smells like gas, pretty much anytime I start the car, I usually let it warm up and if I have to do anything else, like put something in the trunk or get something out of the trunk, then I let the car run while I do all that in the trunk. And you guys know the exhaust is right next to the trunk. So all those fumes are coming up and, you know, hitting my clothes, hitting me. So anytime I drive the car, I literally come out smelling like gas, smelling like the exhaust. So that's definitely something that most people probably will not be a fan of. I've thought since I've had this exhaust set up for, you know, three or four years now that I would get used to it. But to be honest, I think in my opinion, it's just gotten worse. Now, I don't really know if I'm just starting to notice it more now or if it's actually getting worse, but you know, I haven't changed anything in the exhaust. So I'm kind of thinking that I might just be noticing it a little bit more now than I did before. And for example, if I have to go to work or something, I drive the Challenger. Um, I don't want to walk into work smelling like gas or smelling like exhaust fumes or anything like that. And also people driving behind me have told me that the car just smells bad in general. And if I'm parking in like a garage or something, the smell stays there for a long time, even after I shut the car off. So basically, if you have a garage that you park your callous car in, then that garage is always going to smell like your exhaust fumes. So if you don't like that, then 
that's definitely something that you should consider before getting a catalyst exhaust on your car. Now the smell is probably the main disadvantage of having an exhaust like this, in my opinion. If you live in an area that requires emissions inspections, then that would also be a pretty big disadvantage because you won't be able to legally drive the car without that inspection. So those two things are pretty much the two main things that you should consider before getting a callous exhaust for your car. And now let's go ahead and talk about some of the positives or some of the advantages. Now, I don't know the exact numbers or the exact specs on this, but to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure getting rid of the catalytic converters on a car does free up the exhaust, obviously, and does free up some power in the car as well. So by getting rid of the catalytic converters on this car, I was able to boost up the horsepower a little bit um, after getting it tuned on a dyno. So after getting the long tube headers and callus mid pipes installed, the car picked up almost 50 horsepower. Now, I don't know what difference it would have made if I went with uh, high flow cats versus the completely callus exhaust, but I definitely think that a 50 horsepower gain just from long tube headers, callus mid pipes, and a dyno tune, I do think that is pretty impressive, uh, you know, just from those modifications in a tune. Now, once again, the car did dyno 422 completely stock. And once I had the long tube headers and callus mid pipes installed, after they did the dyno tune, it put down 470 to the wheels. So it's about a 48 horsepower gain right there, just from those modifications, the callus mid pipes plus the dyno tune. So I do think that if I had gone with a high flow cat system, then it probably would have been a little bit less of a gain, but then I also wouldn't have to worry about not being able to pass inspection and I wouldn't smell like gas every time I drive this car. Now, you know, some of you guys might be thinking that I might be exaggerating the whole smelling like gas part, but I'm really not to be honest. Like anytime I drive this car, even if I don't stand in the back of it and let my clothes soak up that smell, you can still smell the exhaust fumes from inside the car. Especially if you're like downshifting and you're coming to a stop, then all those fumes just come straight into the cabin. Like I have the windows closed right now and everything, and I can smell the exhaust fumes right now. So they definitely are very noticeable, like I mentioned. So I wanted to give you guys a quick example here. I'm sitting at a red light with the windows down and I can very easily smell the exhaust fumes right now. Now, even if I did have the windows up, I could probably still smell the smell of the exhaust. So, you know, just wanted to give you guys a quick example of how easy it is to actually smell the exhaust fumes with a callus exhaust. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out and show you guys what this car sounds like just at idle. It sounds very good in my opinion, but as soon as I walk out there, I'm gonna start smelling like exhaust fumes. Even though I already do, it'll just be stronger. Let's go ahead and show you guys what this car sounds like. So there you can hear what the car sounds like. I definitely really like the like the kind of rumble that it gives you with the catalyst exhaust. Um, it definitely sounds very raw. That's kind of how I would explain it. You know, obviously it sounds very good. Let's go ahead and shut this thing off so I don't, you know, soak myself in exhaust fumes. So, wow, that's actually very bad right now. <laughs> so like I was saying, you know, basically the whole point of this video, I've just been talking about the exhaust fumes because, you know, that's how noticeable they really are. So right now I'm sitting here, you know, I've literally been hit, sitting here for like maybe 20 seconds with the car just idling. And the smell of the exhaust fumes is very overpowering right now. So, you know, as I was saying early on, whenever I first had this exhaust system installed on this car, I really didn't think it would be too big of an issue for me. You know, especially being a car guy, I don't really have to worry about smelling like exhaust fumes or anything like that. But you know, after three or four years of having an exhaust system like this, I am definitely starting to notice it a little bit more. Now, I don't think it's, in my own personal opinion, I don't think it's bad enough to the point where I would just put high flow cats on it instead of the catalyst mid pipes that I have right now. I don't think it's worth it to go through all that trouble just because of the exhaust smell. So, you know, if I were to go and do it all over again, I probably would do just the high flow cats uh, just so I wouldn't have to go through any kind of issues with, you know, emissions inspections if I ever had to do that or, you know, safety inspections or anything like that if I go to like a really strict shop. Now, I don't know if there are any kind of maybe exemptions for cars that have catalyst exhaust systems on them, 
but I definitely need to look into that. And if you guys know, definitely drop that down in the comment section below because I am interested. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, it's pretty much all a personal preference between those two variables that I mentioned this entire video. It's just the whole smell thing and the issues with inspections. That's basically the only thing that you would have to keep in mind uh, and also performance goals as well. Like I mentioned, I think having a callous exhaust does open up more potential for more horsepower as well. But high flow cats definitely, you can squeeze some power out of those as well. It's just not going to be as much as with a catalyst exhaust. So those three things are the main points that I wanted to make during this video. I hope this video helped you guys out to make a decision whether or not you would uh, get a catalyst or catted exhaust for your car. Now something else that I want to mention, it doesn't have to do with the catalyst midpipe, but it has to do with the long tube headers, is that with the headers that I have now, they actually stick down a little bit lower than the stock headers. So I actually do scrape a lot more now than I did whenever I had the stock headers. Let me get out and show you guys what the long tube headers look like and how low they actually stick down from the car. So if you look right there, you can see those are the headers, the brand new headers. And then right there, you can see the callus mid pipes right there. So you can see the headers come down, you know, obviously from the engine, they come over here. Then they split into that collector piece right there and they go to the callus mid pipes. And then that's where it goes to the mid muffler lead section. And then back in the resonators, let me show you guys where those are. The resonators are right back over here in the very back of the exhaust. So of course I still do have those. And then also one thing that's cool about the Challenger is that it does have an active exhaust system. So if you can see right there, I'm not sure how it's gonna come up, but this little black box, it's actually the active exhaust system. So that just opens and closes the valves whenever the car is under hard acceleration or just driving normally. So back to the headers here, you guys can see kind of how low they stick down to the ground. So that's the reason why I've been scraping a lot more on like speed bumps and stuff like that whenever I'm driving this car with these headers versus the stock headers. So not sure if you guys will be able to see, but there definitely are some scratches on the headers right now you guys can see that at all like i mentioned if i would go back and do this all over again i probably would go with the high flow cats just so i wouldn't have to deal with the issues when it comes to inspections and you know even though i do realize that i can squeeze more horsepower out of a callus exhaust going with high flow cats will still be able to get a horsepower increase out of those just not as much as if they were catless and then of course obviously like i mentioned before if you don't want to come out of this car smelling like exhaust fumes then I would probably recommend going with high flow cats as well. Like I said, I will be including an exhaust comparison at the end of this video, comparing this car to when it had just the mid muffler bleed to how it is now with the long tube headers plus the catless mid pipes. So make sure to stick around until the end of this video to see those exhaust comparisons. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you found it helpful and interesting. And I hope I was able to help you make your decision between going with a catless exhaust or a catted exhaust. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to leave those down in the comment section below. And if you guys have any video suggestions for videos you would like to see in the future, also drop those down in the comment section below. And if you guys liked this video or found it entertaining, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.